Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So with Valentine's Day being right around the corner, I really wanted to make a video just basically focusing on the scents that I think are just so perfect for Valentine's Day. These could be worn for like a date night. I try to pick the scents that I've gotten the most compliments on specifically for men so that you guys can maybe have an idea. Maybe these will give you some new perfume recommendations that you haven't thought about. And also I just want to emphasize I know that Valentine's Day is coming up and I know that there's like this huge emphasis on like being a couple and I know that that can be so discouraging for some people if you are not in a relationship and that is completely okay valentine's day is not just a day for couples valentine's day could be a day to celebrate yourself you could show love to a family member to a friend anybody that you love i am married so obviously my valentine's day is going to be spent with my husband but these perfumes I wanted to pick out because I feel like these are the perfumes that just are super empowering and will just make you feel good and they'll get you compliments from men, from women. If you are a guy watching this, you could use this as a gift idea to buy your girlfriend, your wife, whatever the case because I think that she will really love these scents and I think you will as well. But on top of this, you know every woman loves jewelry. And that brings me to Ana Luisa. So you guys always ask me where my jewelry is from. And I've been wearing the jewelry that I have on right now in my last few videos. And I have been getting so many compliments. And I've gotten so many comments asking me where I got it from. So now I can finally tell you guys. I used to be somebody that always bought like fast fashion type of jewelry especially when i was in high school obviously i had no money and so i would just go for like the quickest buy something that was cheap but then literally i would rebuy it like every week like hoops for example i would literally rebuy hoops every week because they would rust on me like as much as they were cheap and like buying them i was like oh okay i can afford this once you rebuy that every week every two weeks that really adds up so as i've grown up i've definitely realized the art of quality over quantity i'd rather spend a few more dollars on something that's going to last me way longer but the good thing with Ana Luisa is that you get good amazing quality it's not going to turn it's not going to rust it's not going to break apart and turn your fingers green and your skin green but you're also not going to forfeit your bank account their jewelry is high quality it's sustainable they literally come individually like packaged into these pouches and look at how nice this is i'm going to keep this forever because i always throw my jewelry everywhere and it gets tangled and disgusting so to have an actual little pouch or somewhere to just hold it is like amazing i've been wearing the jewelry that you see on me right now i've literally been wearing it every single day i've been showering with it just to kind of like really really test it now i never recommend showering with jewelry on no matter how high quality it is because water is just not good but when i tell you by this point if i had any cheap jewelry by now it would be black <laughs> like i would have thrown it away by now and already like been on my way to buy a new one and these there's literally no difference to when i first bought them they're just as golden and as beautiful and as shiny so these are the three items that i chose i got a lot of questions about my little chain earring right here which i'm obsessed with i'm kind of weird when it comes to earrings i love mismatching like i feel like for me that era of wearing matching earrings is just so over i mean i still do but i love wearing mismatch earrings so on this side i have these beautiful kind of like amber crystal earrings they look so beautiful obviously you could wear them in both ears but i just love mismatching so i have them both right here and then on my other ear of course i have like the little chain earring which i absolutely love a little tiny detail about it is that one of the crystals is a little bit bigger than the other so if you have like a lot of piercings on one ear you could kind of like do like this really nice big to small kind of moment and it looks so freaking good i have four piercings in this ear and when i fill it up like i do my cartilage i have another one right here and then i have this it just looks super super cool and i love it and then i picked out this beautiful necklace i was so head over heels when i saw this it's basically like this woman's body and i'm obsessed with things like this i think this is just so beautiful and it's definitely kind of like a symbolism of just like women empowerment so i thought it would be really perfect for this video and i thought it'd be a really perfect gift idea on their website you're gonna find so many trendy pieces and literally it's impossible to just not want all of them and if you're looking on buying any of these jewelry pieces or or all of the tons of jewelry items that they have on their website they are currently running a huge sale for valentine's day so if you are looking to pick up an item for a loved one 
or for yourself they currently have a huge sale of buy one get one 40 percent off so definitely make sure that you take advantage of that i promise you this jewelry is super super high quality i don't put cheap jewelry on my body anymore i definitely learned my lesson and i just want to give a huge thank you to ana luisa for partnering up with me on this video so yeah that is the jewelry that i'm currently wearing and i have been wearing for my past few videos if you guys like any of the pieces definitely make sure you click on the link below and that discount will automatically apply to your cart with all that being said if you want to see my top seven perfume picks for valentine's day then just keep watching okay, so the first perfume i want to talk about is very fitting for valentine's day and i do this a lot where i like include two perfumes as one but i had to do it again so this is a literal lipstick perfume so i had to include it for this video but regardless of the amazing freaking packaging the juice inside of these bottles is enough to intoxicate you and anybody around you like, these are definitely going to be for my sweet lovers out there because they're very sweet this is the yes i am just the original by Cacharelle. And then this right here is the Yes I Am Fabulous, which is a flanker. So the original Yes I Am is a beautiful raspberry, sweet, kind of like makeup smelling sort of set. It's very creamy. It's very lactonic. It's very decadent. It has a little bit of everything. Like you're going to find a little bit of floral notes. You're going to find a lot of sweet notes and some deep woody notes. I think the packaging really speaks for itself. And this definitely reminds me of what you think the color red smells like. It's a very fiery, beautiful, ultra, ultra feminine perfume. This has top notes of raspberry, mandarin orange, lemon, and bergamot. Middle notes of gardenia, ginger flower, and Amber, jasmine, rose, and orange blossom, and base notes of milk, caramel, vanilla, cardamom, licorice, coumarin, benzoin, amberwood, and sandalwood. This smells yummy. This smells confident. Very much smells like a like milky, sweet candy, but it also has like a little bit of ginger in it, so it kind of has a tiny bit of spice but overall it's super 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 sweet and then i wanted to include this one also because this is basically almost the exact same except it's like just the tiniest bit more fresh like it's still very creamy they share very similar dna but this one has a blackberry note which kind of gives it like this very bright fruity quality and blackberries obviously are like a really deep sweet fruit but you can also kind of almost smell a little bit of like that green coming from like the stem of the blackberry this has top notes of blackberry middle notes of heliotrope and base notes of milk and hazelnut so you're really going to get that really creamy lactonic vibe in here as you get in the original but you also have hazelnut in here which gives this kind of like a creamy chocolatey blackberry vibe and it's so freaking good overall they're very similar but if you love a deeper sort of blackberry scent go for this one this one has that um raspberry which is very prominent in here and because of how feminine these are you are just almost guaranteed to get compliments on these because they just smell good i don't see anybody hating on these scents my husband loves these everyone that has smelled these on me has loved them so those are just like compliment getters for sure they're also really affordable and they last for a really good amount of time and the longer you have them on your skin they almost get sweeter and just better so that is the cash out yes i am and yes i am fabulous the next sense i had to include this in this video because it's literally valentine's day in a bottle and it's also one of my most complimented scents predominantly from men this is literally like a little vial of poison for men like there's something men really love in this fragrance and it is so freaking sweet and delicious i know a lot of people love black opium and i've put a lot of shade towards it because i've said that it's basic in the past and i only say that just because it's worn so much and like it's such a popular scent but then again so is baccarat rouge and i freaking love it and i wear it all the time but if you want to get like a leveled up version of black opium and you don't want to smell like everybody because let's be real, half of the population is wearing black opium, then get this. This is just so much better in my opinion than black opium. The notes in it are so much richer. It just feels so much better and it's also so much cheaper. This is Diesel Loverdose. That name like could i not include it in this video the top notes in here are sugar black currant apple and bergamot middle notes of cacao pod hazelnut orange blossom apricot and base notes of patchouli and amber like those if you are a sweet lover you just love your sweet scents this is just i've said it time and time again but this is just like a neat type of fragrance this is kind of like a deep chocolatey black currant hazelnut it kind of starts off a little bit fresh kind of because you do get a hint of like that bright bergamot note but 
a lot of perfumes always start out that way but then they get super super creamy as you get into the base notes and even the middle notes in here because you get that cacao pod and like the hazelnut and it's just the perfect fragrance to wear on a date this is the perfect fragrance to wear on a first date because i feel like anybody would love this scent it's not like a polarizing scent i think this is overall a scent that anybody will love it's a major crowd pleaser but in the best way possible if you're a guy watching this you want to get this for your wife your girlfriend I definitely recommend you try out Diesel Lover Dose. The next scent is a scent that is one of the most complimented scents by men, I feel like, hands down. I watch a lot of like top most complimented perfumes videos and this one always seems to be one that guys really compliment and I've had the exact same experience. That is Giorgio Armani C. So I definitely have my theory as to why I think the scent is so complimented by men. And that is because this perfume smells like wine. Like straight up it smells like red wine. And you know men love their alcohol so I feel like this is what really draws them in. Now when you're wearing this you're not going to smell like wine. Obviously there's a lot more to this. But I definitely feel like there is like an undertone of wine in here. And I think that like subconsciously men probably smell that and they're like really attracted to it this scent is definitely really unique and it's definitely super super feminine it has top notes of cassis middle notes of mayrose and freesia and base notes of vanilla patchouli umbroxan and woody notes you can definitely smell a lot of rose in here but it's in like the sexiest way possible and mixed with that vanilla it creates a really 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 good mixture it smells very expensive i mean it is it's a designer scent so it's not the cheapest but it smells to me even more expensive than it is i would have definitely included c fiori into this video because this is really pretty as well but i kind of wanted to include fragrances that are more like wow and more bang sexy this one is really sexy but it's a little bit softer and there's kind of like a creamy powdery scent to it that's the only difference between these two but this one is more so like bam like powerful confident in your face in a really good way so i definitely wanted to go for this one for this video but see you need this every woman needs see into their collection my next scent is actually a new one to my collection i recently hauled this and i can never make another sexy perfume video without including it this is a powerful scent like this will make you feel powerful if you are having a day you are not feeling great let's say it's valentine's day and you wake up and you're just not feeling it Go into the shower, go use your nice body washes, go put on those nice body creams and put this guy on top. And I promise you, you will go from feeling like a bum to, wow, I'm like powerful. That's this scent right here. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. This one with the original has absolutely zero correlation. The only one intense smells like a rich, creamy, coconut version of alien by thierry mugler if you love the scent of alien you will love this like for me any scent that smells even remotely like alien i will always gravitate to because i love the scent but if you don't love alien which i know a lot of people don't because she's a little in your face and she could be a lot then this scent is so much more tame but at the same time very powerful just coming from a different way this has a note of coconut in here but the coconut in here is coconut in a way you've never smelled before. It's a really, really dark, creamy coconut scent. This has top notes of neroli, green apple, Italian mandarin, middle notes of jasmine, coconut, orange blossom, and base notes of vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. I think the most unique part of this fragrance is that coconut note because you don't often see coconut notes being done in a really, really dark way like this. For the longest time, I was looking into buying the Giorgio Armani Privé Rouge Malachite perfume. And after I mentioned that in my previous video, the haul video that I did of this, and I said that, a lot of you guys said that you own that one and that you prefer this one. Like, they are very close scent wise but that you almost love this one more i think the similarity that this has to alien is pretty much due to the fact that they have a very similar jasmine note in both obviously a lot of perfumes have jasmine but that doesn't mean all the perfumes smell alike but there's different compositions of it where like for example i think the cedar and jasmine combination in here is what makes this very similar to the composition that is in alien i would say this is almost kind of like a mix 
between Alien and Versace Crystal Noir because Crystal Noir has a really, really deep, dark coconut and it has the same type of coconut that is in here. But then this also has kind of like a little bit of that Alien aspect. But when you combine the two and you create like this creamy, jasmine, woody, deep sexy intoxicating scent that's basically what you get in this bottle and it's just so freaking amazing i highly recommend this i know when i hauled this a lot of you guys said that this was on your perfume list and it's definitely one to wear this valentine's day either if you're by yourself or you're wearing it on a date you'll get compliments like for freaking sure when you're wearing this so that is dolce and gabbana the only one in town. okay and obviously speaking of versace crystal noir this is hands down my i would say like my top two because this is almost tied compliment wise with another scent that i'm going to show you guys next this is so unique this is that dark coconut that i was talking about that is in here but this is way more fresh it almost kind of gives you like a shampoo vibe in a really good way i swear every time i've worn this scent i have gotten a million compliments when i used to work at target i used to wear the scent a lot and my colleagues used to always compliment me on it random customers would come up to me and compliment me on it and it was always like this scent obviously i used to wear different scents to work and every time i would wear this specific scent it would just stand out as being that scent that just garnered me the most compliments from like everybody it was mainly men which is what i kind of gathered that really really loved this scent so i don't know but there's something in here in here you have pepper ginger and cardamom middle notes of coconut gardenia orange blossom and puny and base notes of sandalwood musk and amber this is really woody it's very spicy it's got that coconut it's a really really strange mixture i said the same description about this perfume when i first ever hauled this which was like over a year ago i described this as smelling like the scent of when you're in the shower like all the steam from all like the shampoo the body washes like the smells from all those scents is like super good and like you leave the bathroom and then you go back in there and like the steam and all those smells are still there that's what this smells like let's it just kind of smells like really good shampoo really good body wash it's really strange it's really good but it's really dark in a really really like sexy mysterious way i guarantee you will get a compliment like i i almost promise you you will get a compliment on this so that is versace crystal noir okay my next scent is kind of a more recent ish pick but this is just so perfect for valentine's day so this is juliet has a gun lipstick fever this is hands down my favorite scent from the juliet has a gun house and oh my god this is like a raspberry delicious sweet girly scent it almost has like a licorice vibe to it it kind of reminds me of lolita lampica a little bit which is one of my favorite scents this has top notes of raspberry and violet middle notes of iris and patchouli and base notes of cedar and vanilla coming from a name like lipstick fever you get a very lipsticky type of scent in here like if you've ever smelled a sweet lipstick like a, a mac lipstick or maybelline lipstick i think covergirl's lipsticks are pretty sweet milani like you know that sweet makeup lipstick scent that's what this smells like this is not a floral kind of lipstick scent like for example l'oreal does really really heavy floral scented lipsticks and i absolutely dislike that scent especially when i'm like tasting it but this is not floral at all this is a really really sweet kind of powdery very raspberry heavy in the best way possible perfume and it is so good and again very complimented by men my husband absolutely loves this scent in fact he is like the reason why i went and bought this because i had a little discovery set of a bunch of uh julie as a gun perfumes and i made him smell them all and he loved this one like he wanted me to get this one and also julie has a gun is a niche house their perfumes are like in the hundred dollar mark which for a niche perfume brand is a really good price and this lasts forever and it gives you really really good projection and sillage so i had to include lipstick fee that's just it's a valentine's day classic you're gonna kill him if you wear that on a date <laughs> my very last scent i feel like this is almost predictable and i know that i've repeatedly talked about this scent and i've included this in a lot of like my top perfumes videos in fact it was in my previous video where i showed you guys my top most used perfumes but could i not include this this is just it's valentine's day it's screaming date night it's screaming sexiness it's screaming feminine this is just that scent if you can only buy one perfume for yourself 
like it's like your starter perfume and you just want to smell like that girl you want to smell fiery you want to smell sexy you want to smell intoxicating you want to leave a delicious scent trail behind you and you want to be remembered then i introduce you to carolina herrera good girl i don't care what anybody says about this scent this scent is phenomenal you wear this on a date and he's gonna be yours this has so many notes in it and i've read them so many times on my channel so i'm gonna just pop them up right here and here they all are i'm not gonna read them all even though it has so many notes this is not overwhelming they blend so nicely there's really nothing that i can even pick out of this like although there's all those notes there's really nothing that really really stands out it's just like a really even mashup that somehow creates this magic that is in here i will forever speak so highly of this scent and if you want a scent that you just know you're gonna get compliments on it's gonna be this i never wore this to work and stuff like that because this is too provocative and too out there and i definitely like to keep this for like dates or just you know nighttime going out like that's the kind of occasion that i would personally wear this for i mean this could be easily your signature scent but i just like reserving it for those kinds of occasions where i want to feel super 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 sexy and in tune with my feminine energy this hands down has to be my husband's favorite perfume ever it was actually the first perfume that he really like really really noticed on me so this will forever just stay in my collection this is floral there's a lot of tuberose in here there's a lot of sweetness in here there's woodiness it's just so many things it's a really hard scent to describe but people don't lie when they say this is the most complimented scent because i have personally proven that to be true with this so that is carolina herrera a good girl so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed all of these perfumes i hope you got some new perfume recommendations let me know your picks for valentine's day what you think some really really good date night scents are to wear or if you're just by yourself you want to feel good what is that like feel good scent for you definitely leave them for me in the comments and don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and their beautiful jewelry if you're interested in all the jewelry that I mentioned in this video or if you want to head on over to their website you can check out the link in my description and you will automatically get their current sale promo of buy one get 140% off in your cart so happy shopping let me know what you guys get again I want to say a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for partnering up with me on this video and I would definitely love to partner up with you guys in the future but that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As per usual, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!